Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. We're out in the garage where I have my radio set up. And I wanted to share with you uh, another benefit to being an amateur radio operator. And we're kind of stuck inside right now because the family's sick and and uh, we really shouldn't be out in the public and stuff. So I wanted to show you how an amateur radio operator can send email from their laptop using the radio and sending the email over the airwaves and out onto the internet in a different location. So <clears throat> first off, you don't have to have a other anything special of a license. You must have an amateur radio license, but what I'm trying to say is, is you have to be at least a technician Technician is the entry level, all right, and uh, you have to have a FM radio, which is what I've got right here. And if your radio does not come with a built-in sound card like this one did not, this is the Yaesu FTM 400. It's a mobile, but I use a power supply over here to uh, power it. But it doesn't have its own sound card made in like some of the other radios, so... You have to get what's called a signal link or something that's similar to it that is a sound card device. So I'm making this video for those of my viewers who who um, are not amateur radio operators and they don't maybe they don't realize that you can do this with your amateur radio. So if my scenario is is if Everything goes out for me here in the uh, for internet or phones. If the links are still up someplace in in the country there, I can reach through a radio. Uh, I will still be able to email my family, email uh, emergency reports uh, uh, to um, the National Weather Service or, or whoever may may need to uh, get help to us. So that's the whole idea behind being able to email. In this particular setup, I'm emailing um, using FM band or FM mode. And our county actually has, let me see if I can bring this up so you can see it, actually has a, um, what's called a gateway that we can go to. So let me bring this up here so you can see. Here is uh, APRS. I'm just showing you this on my screen uh, best I can because I don't have that screen sharing type software. But you'll see right here there's a W. And that gateway is located near my county seat there of Bartow. So Polk County. And there is the, the Wingate node. Or wind link node. I'm sorry. Click on that, and it kind of gives us. Um, sorry, it's kind of crooked, but it gives us the the frequency that it's working off from, which is 144, 930, and I have that on my radio over here. As you can see there are other counties that also have them over here in Tampa. See these, that red W and that red W, and this one over here. There's other gateways that I might be able to reach from my home if this one is taken out. Also, um, if if um, I can't use my local gateway, I can also use my HF rig, which is down here, which um, I would have to hook that all up. That's another whole band, another whole mode. You have to be... Um, a general license or up to use that but typically I could reach another wind link gateway that is further north uh, my friends who operate that way have been able to get into uh, stations in North Carolina so let me get into this real quick uh, today is what my county calls wind link Monday so we are supposed to as operators as a drill and as an exercise go on and fill out a particular form 
So every Monday it's a different form. So uh, let me bring that up. Today is the health and well welfare form, which is this one. And it basically has my name, the people I'm going to be contacting, the time. And this is an exercise. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit better. Sorry about that. I'm filming off of my laptop screen. And it's basically just checking in, letting them know how I'm doing. So this is a checking in frost on the pumpkin at the home QTH this morning. Have a great day. So every Monday we practice doing this so that we don't forget how to send a win link message when it's when when it comes time for an emergency. So I'm going to click submit. Okay, and then it's going to generate the form over here onto my email message. And this is my email message here. You can see it put it into the right into the uh, body of it. And now this is just like old dial up stuff. We're going to post this to the outbox right here. And now it's in my outbox here. And now I'm going to, this is not really supposed to be a tutorial, but I just want to show you that it is possible. Here you can, you can select the mode. So I can send this message through the internet, through Telnet and WinLink. And, and there's all these other choices you can do to get the message out. Today, because of that uh, WinLink gateway, we're going to select Packet WinLink. Okay, and I'm going to open the session. And let's see if we can get this on camera here. It's saying it's ready to go right there. Ready? And then when I click Start, I'm going to kind of pan over here to my radio and you'll see what's going on. It's going to to uh, make a bunch of uh, like packet type noises as it's communicating. This is the uh, node I'm using down in Bartow, the WinLink gateway. So let's see what happens here. Hopefully it all works for the camera. Here it goes. So it's sending a message. I'm trying to get all this. Let's go back over to the screen. Okay, so it's sending the message now. And you can see by the green bar going across, it's progress. Okay, it sent the message. Now it's kind of signing off. So it's still communicating. And it should be disconnecting here soon. Okay, so it says, end the session, sent one message, and it, it, re it received a message down there at the gateway, disconnected, and disconnect reported so so we completed this uh, this sending of, of an email through the radio it's not going directly to the internet it's going into my FM radio here my FM ham radio through my antenna that's over the top of my roof and down to our uh, county's Winleak gateway where it goes on the internet there so if I had put into here that I wanted to send it to myself, it would have popped up on my email here. I could have confirmed it for you, but I, trust me, it went through. I should have done that. I should have put myself, my personal email in there so I could show you that it popped up on there. So anyways, this is just another tool to be used to uh, communicate in case of emergency. My county has a whole set of WinLink procedures for us uh, amateur radio operators where we could send out hurricane reports, severe weather reports, um, uh, this welfare report. And then there's, a, there's, there's five different messages we practice on every month to make sure that we can uh, do it when needed. So anyways, 
If you have any questions about this, just let me know. Just remember, you can't get on WinLink and do all this unless you have a call sign, an amateur radio call sign. And that requires uh, going through the FCC to get that license and taking a test and passing that. It's, it's not just pay your money and you get a, a call sign. you got to pass a test. But anyways, uh, I just want to encourage anybody out there who's interested in amateur radio that you... Here is another benefit right here is using your computer over the internet to send messages. Now you can't send pictures and things like that because it would take way too long with packet. It may not even send it, but uh, for just sending a message and trying to get it out, it's a great thing to have. So anyways, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.